Dela Wright, my MVVs. Welcome. Report reaching us is that Oni of Ife is doing a very serious royal cleanup as he is expecting his wife, Queen Naomi. Do not forget we are gradually entering March. Now, after March, we're talking about April, May, June. So it's just going to be three months after March for Queen Naomi to return back into the palace of the Oni of Ife. And Oni of Ife is doing what he's supposed to do to clean up, not just um, physically, he's cleaning up everywhere, preparing for Queen Naomi. So report reaching us right now is that Lola, Lola has been officially, officially locked out of the palace. Like she's not allowed into the palace of the Oni of Ife again. Unlike before where she can just walk into the palace and walk out, walk into the palace, go to her own chalet, sleep, spend one, two days, do whatever she wants to do in the in Ife and go back. Now, in the interest of those of you who may not know who Lola is, Lola happens to be one a bunny skin, a beautiful woman. She should be in her late 40s or early 50s, okay? Maybe about um, Runke's age. Lola has allegedly, allegedly been in a relationship um, with Oni of Ife for 20 years. Yes, so 20 years. And all of this time, they say she's been waiting for Oni of Ife to marry her and thereby, you know, um, denying suitors and all of that because she always, like she has always loved the new Fife. She wanted to be with KBSC. That she's known KBSC longer than even um, Olori Runke uh, before they even, before they even coronated KBSC, that they've been in a relationship with KBSC. And so when things happened, KBSC went and married Urola. Remember the politics that played out when KBSC got, um, got coronated, where um, all this council of chiefs. So this is the thing they are doing. It didn't just start today. It has always been there. When uh, Oni got coronated, they now came up with one um, um, revelation. And they said that the gods, if I said that Oni must marry a royal uh, blood from the Bini kingdom and uh, for them to uh, rule together or reign together, that that's uh, what will make Oni of Ife's reign long and, and that, that's what will make the palace peaceful. Now, Oni went ahead and married Wurola because that was the wife that was recommended to Oni at that time. Wurola was free at that time and Oni went ahead and married her. But you could say, I'm not a love judge, okay? But you and I know that Oni and Urola had no single, like, single connection. Single. There was no love. There was no connection. There was nothing. When you see them together, you could just tell, like, it was written all over them that there was actually nothing. No love, no connection, nothing. Yeah. You say this new couple that will be married into a royal family, you will admire them, you want to see them together. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Those ones, uh, the thing, uh, the vibe was not there at all. Now, that one happened, the marriage did not end, the marriage uh, uh, packed up. Oni went ahead and married Queen Naomi. All these women were still there, including Lola. So when this whole thing happened with Lola, with uh, Queen Naomi, you know that because there were so many women hanging around, all of them wanted to be in that position. They wanted KBAC. They wanted to be with KBAC, royalty, luxury, affluence, all of that. Money is what everyone is thinking about. I've told you so many times that proximity is power. The fact that you're close to Tinubu alone makes you powerful because you will leverage on that closeness to make, a, do, make things happen for yourself. Look at today. If you go around the blogs, you find out that everyone is talking about um, Olori Maria, Olori Toby, Lori Ashley, Olori Runke, Olori Timito. Who knew them before now? Who knew them? Nobody. They have become popular right now because of their proximity to the Oni of Ife. And that is why they say proximity is power. And Uba made millions of dollars, Naira, from this country just by being close to Obasanjo. And um, a deceiver Bedman made so much money by being close to Stella Obasanjo. That's what proximity brings to you. And now when people say, why are these women, why are these women wanting to marry Oni of Ife? Oni of Ife is a powerful king. He is the number one ruler of the Yoruba people across the globe, not just Nigeria, okay? Uh, he is a role Odudua, and they respect him for that. So when you're close to him, people notice you, okay? So now Lola 
um um was still coming to the palace so like anytime she likes she'll just come into the palace she wants to do something in Ile Ifeha land she'll come into the palace because these were all ayabas so the ayabas they have their own chalets in the palace yes so they do have their chalet so what we are hearing right now is that they have gone Lola's um, 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 chalet in the palace Oni made them to break into that challenge. They, they cleaned up the place, changed the door, moved the things, packed the things into their um, um, uh, store, storage in the palace. And uh, he said that they should send Lola's own to Ibadan. Apparently, when Lola got her own, Lola decided to come to the palace. Um, when she was coming, from what we are hearing, that she... Uh, 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 came bearing a gift for Queen Naomi and Tade Nikawo. And, and they said they shut her out from the gate, that they did not allow her access into the palace, that Oni of Ife said that they, they are no longer welcome into the palace. And that is the one thing. If you know who Oni of Ife is, Oni of Ife is a man who appreciates friendship so much. Friendship means a whole lot today. Oni of Ife, he does not joke with his friends. He keeps his friends very close and holds them at very high esteem. Look at... um. um, um what do you call Ronke? Ronke has been friends with Oni of Ife like forever. And there are a lot of people like Toby Yosin and Toby is not just new into Oni of Ife's life. They've been together for like six years before they got married. Ashley has been there for a very long time. And Timmy Tokwe has been doing businesses with Oni of Ife. And the only people that I know have not been there for too long is actually Miriam. And even when Miriam came, they started as business partners and until they got to where they are right now so Oni holds friendship dearly and so right now they said that Oni of Ife locked her out and told her she's no longer um um uh, allowed into the palace and you do remember that uh, um uh, during the week there was an alleged information that Lady Badmos was in Ojaja hotel so if Lady Badmos slept in Ojaja hotel it means that she's no longer allowed into the palace of the Oni of Ife again like others uh, before now that everybody Tom Dick and Harry have their chalets they come they enter they stay they say that place is very big they have like a uh, one bedroom chalet up to and 13 well furnished luxury everything that most of those women when they come they go straight and they stay like lola's own was under lock and keys and she had her key and eh? she could come and go come and go and that was exactly what ruined that marriage with um naomi because these women were always hanging around there uh, even when naomi was in the palace and uh, being the yeyo lua of the palace. So right now, Nuni is trying to clean it up. And they say that was the embarrassment Lola got. Lola was not allowed into the palace of the Oni of Ife. The fear of Naomi is the beginning of, you know, whatever you want, you should call it. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. <laughs>